Another thing that's very interesting as well, and, and I've yet to get, I, I have arguments with transhumanists now and again, and for all their talk about uh, how scientific and technical they are, you realize how stupid many of them are. Uh, they've no, they've no sense of imagination or vision. I was talking to one of them, and I was saying, "Okay, you become half machine, right? You are no longer a human being, right? What happens to your human rights? If you're no longer a human being, you will no longer be able to abide by human rights." And that's another thing they're pushing for because there's, there's gone, there's gone, they're going to implement statutes and laws where if you're only a certain amount of a human being, then you no longer apply, human rights no longer apply to you, and therefore they can do whatever they want with you. Yeah, this is and a this is ownership like, uh, and, and making you a machine that can be owned like chattels. What, exactly. what, what I would like to, to, to point out is um, the, the movie um, The Highlander, right? After um, I started looking into to, to all these things again, um, inspired by your work, that movie suddenly made more sense because what you said about how psychopaths are solitary killers, right? There can be only one. Yeah. This also uh, brings about the fact that all these changes, all these uh, goals that, that we're talking about now, like transhumanism or um, socialism or communism or uh, feudalism, whatever it is, whatever ism we're, we're talking about, it is, it is a system that a psychopath wants so they can govern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's is right. the whole key point. It, it's not yeah, that there's, there's trans, no reason. it's not there's all no all uh, psychopaths wants yeah. uh, transhumanism. They want something where they can control their world. And the same with all these machine communities, like the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist movement. It's all, it's all psychopathic. It's the same thing. One person holding the switch. And, and, and the same thing that drives these guys in the White House. Who oh, that, that, oh, that expression we grew up during the Cold War. You know the the old man with his finger on the button. That 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 appeals no end to psychopaths. They love that idea. I have a switch on my desk where I can end the world. You know. But have you noticed one thing? Because I, I it got me thinking, right? Um, if psychopathy is somehow hereditary, right, or something somehow something that can be induced either by direct heritage uh, heritage or by uh, epigenetics or something like that, what I've noticed is that. This could also uh, explain a lot of uh, the current problems with autism and Asperger's syndrome. It's not that they're psychopaths. It's just that the same loss of empathy, the same reduction in empathy. They're not feral, but they, n they don't have the empathy. Well, I don't understand where all this autism is coming from. And it's, it's a very different kind of autism. Like, I can remember when I was a teenager, if they, you know, if a baby was born autistic, you could look at the kid as soon as it was born, and you knew something just wasn't right there, you know? It now seems that the babies, the kids are like, they're okay for a couple of months. They're starting to say, you know, they're starting to use, start using baby talk and use words. They're, alert, alert, you know, alert. And then suddenly they're autistic. I, I mean, I, this is what I don't understand. What's... It seems to be that the, 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 the latest autism, whatever it's, whatever it's been caused autistic now, it seems to be not only epidemic, but happening, you know, up to months and months after the baby is born. That's what I don't get. Well, <laughs> of course, that, that could bring us into a whole lot of conspiracy theory. But if, if empathy is a um, detector of uh, the predator, right? If this is the only way that you can detect the predator, of well-developed empathy, then if I was a predator, I would try to make sure that they couldn't detect me. You've seen the movie um, uh, They Live. Yeah, yeah. Um, where it's symbolized by the glasses. When he yeah, puts on it, the sunglasses, then he can see them. Yeah. Right? It's the box with empathy in it. Without that box, you cannot detect them. They are yeah. invisible. It is, it, is, it is always the same story being told all through history, apparently. I was also... Well, uh, 
that that's what puzzling people is about. I want puzzling people to be like those glasses. 